So with the Phoenix Suns beating the New Orleans Pelicans in six games and the Dallas Mavericks beating the Utah Jazz in six games, this means in the Western Conference semifinals, we'll be seeing the number one seed Suns versus the number seed four, number four seed Dallas Mavericks. In today's video, I'll be predicting who I think will win this series. I'll start by talking about the Suns side, then I'll talk about the Mavericks side, then at the end I'll come to a conclusion on who will win and in how much games. Before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. I'll see you next below with 3,000 subscribers also drop a comment on this video i do respond to all of my comments and play that intro start the video off i'm gonna talk about the sun side in this series in the series like this i think offense and defense is important for the suns but defense definitely has to be really important because the mavericks have always been one of the best offensive teams in the league slowing them down on offense would nearly guarantee a suns series win but that won't be easy to do we all know they have luka Doncic, a top seven player in the league he's a guy who's an nba superstar he's a top five offensive player in the league he's a guy who's nearly impossible to slow down i have yet to see a team that can actually slow this guy down but if anyone in the league is going to be able to do really good defense on him it's going to be the suns because they have mikhail bridges who's a top three premier defender in the league and arguably just a top three defender in the league in general one of the most versatile defenders in the league one of the best perimeter defenders in the league he's definitely the best perimeter defender at the small forward position he's the perfect defender for a guy like luca as he's really fast laterally can really stay in front of him he also has the length to bother Luca's shots at the rim and just shots in general and he's just a really smart defender he's not gonna gamble and if he does gamble he's always gonna succeed in his gambling this is gonna be a really tough matchup for Luca and I don't think there's much players better in the NBA to guard Luca than Bridges but if we're being honest, that might not be enough because the Mavericks have some really good role players who can step up like Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, Maxi Kleba, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and others. And the Suns definitely have to close out to them because if they double team Luka Doncic, those guys can hit shots for sure. I don't think Phoenix is going to double team Luka as much because they have a way better defender to put on Mikhail Bridges, whereas the Jazz kept double teaming because they had Royce O'Neal on Luka. Royce O'Neal is a solid defender, but he's no Mikhail Bridges. But overall, I think Phoenix has enough fast and versatile defenders to close out to the Mavericks shooters after putting a lot of attention on Luka. But to talk about the offensive side of the floor, the Mavericks are definitely one of the most improved defensive teams in the league, so it's not going to be crazy easy for the Suns to score but at the end of the day Phoenix was the top three offense in the league and when it comes to defensive matchups the Mavericks are probably going to put Dorian Finney-Smith on Devin Booker and then they're going to probably put a guy like Reggie Bullock or Jalen Brunson on Chris Paul and if we're being honest Dorian Finney-Smith is one of the most underrated defenders in the league he somewhat slowed down Donovan Mitchell which was a big reason for the Mavericks winning that series he held Donovan Mitchell to shoot below low 40% from the field which is something he hadn't done in the playoffs in the last two years and in my opinion Mitchell and Booker are kind of on the same level so if you're a Mavericks fan you would hope that Bullock or Dorian Finney-Smith could hold Mitchell to be inefficient in a series like this but at the end of the day Devin Booker is one of the best scorers in the league and I think he's better than De Donovan Mitchell so you would just hope he could play better if you're a Suns fan he's not just gonna lock up Devin Booker no one in the league can really do that when it comes to guarding Chris Paul I don't know if anyone in the NBA is capable of locking down Chris Paul so I'm not even gonna get into that but overall Phoenix offense is really gonna be hard for Mavericks to stop and I think at times the Mavericks can be successful I think at times the Suns offense could be like successful the Suns are gonna need guys like DeAndre Aiden to be aggressive 
especially since the Mavericks big men aren't amazing defenders. They're also going to need Mikhail Bridges to be aggressive and, and Jay Crowder to finally hit some shots. This guy shot 0.5% from three in the first round. Those guys are going to have to take advantage because they're often going to be put in situations where they're going to have wide open shots off of Chris Paul or Devin Booker's gravity. If those guys are capable of their shots, the Suns have a really good chance to win. Another advantage the Suns have in a series like this is that when it comes down to the end of the games, the Suns are literally number one in every statistic when it comes down to like the end of the games. They have Chris Paul, Devin Booker, two of the best closers in the league. They definitely have an advantage when it comes to that, but that doesn't mean if it's a close game, like they're just automatically going to win. The Mavericks are also pretty good when it comes to closing games. They have Luka, one of the most clutch players. Guys like Spencer Dinwiddie and Jalen Brunson have shown the ability to hit big time shots. But overall, I think the key for the Suns is for their offense and defense to be good. Obviously, they have to try and limit the role players outside of Luka because I don't think you can actually stop Luka by yourself. And everyone outside of Chris Paul and Booker needs to take advantage of the attention those guys are going to attack. Let's talk about the Dallas Mavericks. The key for them has to be the offensive side of the floor. When the Mavericks offense is clicking, they're just as good as any team in the league on offense. We all know that regardless of how good the Suns play on defense on Luka, he's still going to perform at a level we expect him to. I don't know if you could block up a guy like Don Sitch because of his passing is just too good. If you double team him, he's always going to make the right play and get you a bucket. But I can't lie, he's going to have his work cut out for him because Mikhail Bridges is a really good defender. And if the Mavericks role players can step up in a series like this, it will really help their chances. They need Jalen Brunson to play similar to what he did against the Jazz. I'm not saying this guy needs to go out there and average 28 points like he did against Utah. I'm saying if he could average 20 to 23 points per game, be that second ball handler for Luka, take some pressure off of him, and take advantage of the tension Luka's going to get in this series. They also need Spencer Dinwiddie to play better because he shot, he averaged 15 points in the first round, but shot 36% from the field and shooting in the low 20% from three. I expect him to play better and hopefully the Mavericks can hit as much shots as they were against the Jazz because their shooting was pretty phenomenal. As a team, they shot 39% and they had some games where they were just shooting amazing like the 2016 Warriors or something. They're going to have to do that against Phoenix. When it comes to the defensive side of the floor, they're going to have to do great on that side of the floor because Phoenix is a really good offense. Dorian Finney-Smith is going to get the Devin Booker assignment and Devin Booker is coming off of his injury but I'm not going to lie against the Pelicans he did look pretty solid. In my opinion as I said Booker and Mitchell are kind of similar players like, like when it comes to how good they are. So if you're a Mavericks fan you would hope that Finney-Smith could have the same success guarding Booker that he did out Mitchell. As I said when it comes to guarding Chris Paul I don't know if anyone in the league could give him too much trouble Jose Alvarado was the first point guard in a long time that I saw actually give Chris Paul serious trouble and Chris Paul still had a dominant series maybe Klay Thompson at times back in the day when he was on the Rockets but regardless I think Chris Paul will do good because even if they try and throw double teams at him arguably the best passer in the league he's always going to make the right play Another advantage the um, Mavericks have in a series like this is the fact that they have the best player in the series in Luka Doncic. Anytime you have the best player in the series, you will always have a chance to win, especially when it's by this significant of a margin because Luka is way better than Devin Booker with all due respect to Devin Booker, who's a top 20 player in the league. That's definitely in their favor. The Mavericks are going to win the series. They're going to have to play at the same level how they were doing against the Jazz. They're going to need Luka to go off. They're going to need the role players to step up. Regardless, the Mavericks have a really good chance to win this series. Better than most people would think. But to drop a prediction on who I think will win the series, I'm going to have to go with the Phoenix Suns. They have shown in this whole regular season that they were the better team. I think the Suns will win this series in a really close six games. Although I really think the Mavericks have a chance to win this series. What they showed me against Utah was that they're a really deep team and they're ready to step up. And they have a lot of playmakers outside of Luka, which is definitely huge. When it just comes to head to like toe to toe, Phoenix is just the better offensive and defensive team and just a better roster. I think I'll have to give them the 
advantage. They also have several guys who can really step up. I trust Mikhail Bridges and DeAndre Aiden more than I trust a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie or Max Kleber. I think the Suns are going to put a lot of pressure on Luka Doncic and try and let other guys beat him, which I think the other guys on the Mavericks are capable of doing, especially Brunson and Dinwiddie if he steps up his play. But I don't think the guys on the Mavericks are capable of beating the Suns enough to actually win the series so i think phoenix will win a close six game series maybe it could go seven games but regardless i think the suns will still win it they're the number one seed for a reason and i can't disrespect them and i just truly think they'll win the series uh, before we get into the video i ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want daily nba content also if you want to grow to 3,000 subscribers also drop a comment on this video i do respond to all of my comments and play that intro